Chapter Two: Heroes and Heroines. That was Archer and Buster talk about on their way home from school. Who's your favorite? Buster asked. I mean, there are a lot of heroes to choose from. I knew we were studying the one from real life, but what about Robin Hood or Hercules or the Bionic Bunny? Said Archer. Buster nodded. Exactly, he said. Archer was sure he had a favorite. He had always liked reading stories about heroes, but he had never thought much about what made them the way they were or which one he liked best. You know, all I really like about heroes," said Buster. "What? Well, that's their so heroic, so brave. I wish I couldn't do half the things they do." "Me too," said Arthur. He paused. "Do you think heroes ever hurt their friend marshmallows?" Buster wasn't sure. He know one. I know one thing. If they do. They don't worry about the about it later. Arthur nodded. It wouldn't certainly help things if he couldn't be a little more heroic himself. When Arthur got home, he found D. W. talking on the kitchen pond. He said, "What?" D. W. gasped. She listened for a moment. "I can't believe it," she went on. "Well, I suppose I can." Nothing. Archer just really surprised me. She glanced at her brother. Archer shook his head. He was being glared at a lot of lately. Who are you talking to? He asked. D W ignored him. Uh huh. Well, he shouldn't talk. Guess what he looked like in the pajamas? No, no. But I like that one. Give up, D W. Archer shouted, "A dumpling! He looks like a soggy dumpling." Archer reached for the phone. D W held held up her hand to stop him. Okay, she said. I tell him bye. She hung up the phone. Was that for me? Said Archer. Yes and no. D W smiled. I have to give you the message because Francie isn't talking to you. She's not. D W laughed. You can't go around calling someone a marshmallow and expect her not to care. I did not. It was such a big deal," said Arthur. "I mean, I like marshmallows." D W was not impressed. To eat maybe, but not to look like. Archer rolled his eyes. So, what? What was the message? He asked. Francine says to meet her at the library tomorrow at three. But you can speak to her because she was. She's not speaking to you. Archer sighed. D W stuck her nose in the air, and I, and I don't blame her. But how are we supposed to get any work done if we're not speaking? D W waved her finger at him. You shouldn't have thought of that before you start calling people names. And with that, D W went upstairs, leaving Archer thinking that if he were a hero, he wouldn't be in this mess.